Hello, I'm Dr. Brent Gibson, and tonight I would like to talk to you about one of the other things that you need to truly understand when it comes to peripheral neuropathy to really be able to manage your peripheral neuropathy in these 30 days. Number, the, the big thing is that you will have muscle weakness and muscle pain. So just because you have a sensory neuropathy doesn't mean you can't also have a motor neuropathy. So quick reminder. There are four different types of neuropathy you'll actually see with peripheral neuropathy. Number one is a small fiber sensory neuropathy. Number two is a large fiber sensory neuropathy. Number three is a motor neuropathy, which we're going to talk about a little bit today. And number four is autonomic neuropathy. So with a motor neuropathy, then you're going to actually have pretty significant muscle weakness and muscle pain from peripheral neuropathy. So you'll actually have aching in the legs and in the arms possibly aching in the feet and the hands that are actually weakness of the muscles. And what happens is you can walk for a period of time and then you get pretty significant discomfort, pretty significant pain. You say, okay, this isn't normal. Is this a circulation problem? It may not be. It could actually be a neuropathy problem where the nerves are malfunctioning. And because of that, they're not get, the muscles are not getting the signal they should need and they start to get weakness and you can actually have times where you can go a certain distance and then you have to stop and rest and it may take long periods of time to recover whereas with blood flow if you stop and rest the the nerve the muscles will recover because you start to get blood flow back in there and you can get back up and you can move again but with uh, peripheral neuropathy a lot of times the weakness will be longer lasting and be more problematic so if you have peripheral neuropathy and you're saying okay is it normal to have weakness is it normal that I have trouble getting out of the chair. Is it normal that I have other problems like rolling over or even lifting simple activities or even turning lids, for example? If you say, okay, I've got a bottle lid and I can't open it now because of the numbness in my hands, but also I seem to have some weakness. The weakness can also be part of your peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Grant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget, day 159. Weakness is a huge deal, and that's why exercise is so important when you're dealing with a peripheral neuropathy, because you want to prevent as much weakness and as much loss of function of those ner muscles, of those nerves to the muscles, as well as to reduce the chance of having muscle pain that's related to atrophy or decreasing the size